So in this video, I am going to explain what the nucleus is, the functions of the nucleus, and the components of the nucleus. So essentially, the nucleus is this purple sort of structure that you see right here. It's located in the middle of a cell, and it is generally the biggest structure of a eukaryotic cell. And so what you might notice first is the chromatin or chromosomes of the nucleus. And so here is something that many people are confused with. So here, the strands, the stringy things are the chromatin. And so you might have heard the term chromosomes as well. So essentially it's the same thing, but it's when it's in a different kind of state. So I guess the chromatin form is more accessible. So you have access to the genetic information to make mRNA, which then makes becomes proteins, but we'll get into that later on. So that's what the chromatin is. Chromosomes are the things that you normally see that's kind of shaped like an X and essentially what it is is it's super condensed chromatin so these are chromosomes and the only time you really see chromosomes are when a cell is undergoing mitosis and so the chromatin here you might think of it as just DNA however Chromatin is made up of DNA wrapped around little stone-like things called histones. Histone. And pretend this is a string of DNA. Oh, let me use a different color. This is DNA that essentially just wraps around the stones. And that's pretty much what chromosomes, chromatin, is. Now, let's talk about the nucleolus. Do I erase this? So as you can see, right here, this like whole purple thing is the nucleolus. And you can kind of think of it as the nucleus of the nucleus. And in this area, ribosomes are made. Or they're not, the parts are assembled. And that's essentially what the nucleolus does. Now, let's talk about the nuclear membrane. So essentially, the nuclear membrane is a double-layered membrane, so two bilayers, lipid bilayers. And as you can see, there are nuclear pores in here. So these pores allow for mRNA to leave the nucleus after it's made. And essentially what mRNA is, is when the... And so the mRNA is made... Um, by RNA polymerase, it's essentially a copy of the DNA that can leave the nucleus and get translated into protein. And of course the nuclear pore can also let other um, things in such as steroids which change your genetic makeup, it alters your genes, which is a type of fat steroids are a type of fat that can enter the bilayer easily 
And finally, to essentially just give you a big, bigger picture of how the nucleus falls into eukaryotic cells, some cells have no nucleus, while some cells have many nuclei. So, such as a red blood cell. does not have a nucleus. And that is because the purpose of the red blood cell is essentially just to transport oxygen and a nucleus is, will get in the way of that. If you don't have a nucleus it can hold more oxygen. On the other hand, uh, cells such as skeletal muscle cells Wow. Has many nucleus, many nuclei. And finally, one last thing I forgot to mention. The cytoplasm of the nucleus is called the nucleoplasm. which is essentially all of the purple, not the purple strands, but the space between the purple strands and the giant ball-like looking thing called the nucleolus.